Motor Week, television's original automotive magazine. Only a few weeks ago, we sang the praises of Cadillac's new CTS Coupe. Now another throttle is dropped as Cadillac adds its ultra-high performance V treatment to the new two-door. Like BMW's M cars and AMG and Mercedes-Benz, Cadillac's V tuning attempts to take an already stellar car to new heights. So with the CTS V Coupe, we are expecting to be impressed. The 2011 Cadillac CTS Coupe's dramatic angular art and science lines lend themselves well to the V-Series cubes. The bold front fascia with freer breathing twin honeycomb grills is shared with the CTS V sedan right down to the combination brake duct fog lamp housings. Standard adaptive HID headlights flank a bulging hood that makes room for the requisite supercharged V8. The coupe's deep gash down the lower flanks needs no enhancements beyond badging. The V's rear track grows an inch to allow for wider 285-35 Z-rated Pilot Sport PS2 treads on unique 10-spoke 19-inch alloys. The V Coupe also dons a taller center stoplight spoiler than the standard car. Twin 4-inch center exhaust pipes make for a powerful visual statement and a guttural growl. The crouched and ready stance is a fitting byproduct of form following function and a perfect vessel for the supercharged aluminum block 6.2 liter pushrod V8. The numbers are the same as the four door, 556 horsepower and 551 pound feet of torque. That's more beef than the M3, the old M5 and even the M6. Also shared with the sedan are the coupe's rear drive, dual disc clutch, six speed manual and high performance six speed automatic. At the test track, our Thunder Gray Automatic V Coupe chewed through first gear with very little wheel spin and sank its teeth into second, serving up 60 miles per hour and 4.2 seconds. Again, the same as the sedan. Sport mode made for crisp, clean shifts all the way to a 12.4 second quarter mile at 117 miles per hour. Don't expect the wheel mounted toggle shifters to improve your times. This automatic shifts quicker. Massive Brembo brakes, a full 15 inches in diameter up front and 14.7 in the rear, snap the beefy V-Series coupe down from 60 to a dead stop and an average of only 118 feet. Pedal feel was slightly spongy, but run after run, the V proved fade free. And it's also deft at dodging cones, though the low-speed slalom required some muscle. It feels like the 4,200-pound car that it is, but steering is quick and direct if a little numb. Higher speeds bring on slight understeer, but the V8's gobs of torque is always there to push you out. There are two schools of thought when it comes to rare, high-performance cars like this CTS V Coupe. Some like their response light as a feather, almost like the car is on tiptoes. I think the BMW M3 falls into that category. Now others like their high performance car feeling more nailed down. That I think is the CTS V Coupe. Solid, but thrilling to drive too. Magnetic ride control makes for a civilized road ride, but clearly the chassis is tuned to sporting taste. No boulevard cruiser here. And like its direct rivals, fuel economy is not a CTSV strong suit. Government fuel economy ratings are 14 city, 19 highway for the manual, 12 and 18 for the automatic. Our automatic drew 16.3, all naturally on premium. Inside, the CTS's ultra-modern interior gets V-Series cues as well. Trim is obsidian black or optional wood. The wheel, shifter, and seat inserts are suede-look microfiber, with Saffron a new V-Coupe exclusive trim color. Our car's optional 14-way power Recaro front buckets have plenty of lateral support, but an overly flat seat bottom. Rear seat legroom is the same as the sedans, but the CTS Coupe's stylish silhouette robs headroom. The Trick exterior touchpad door handles mirror these simple door release buttons inside. Cargo capacity is the same as the regular coupes at 10.5 cubic feet, and the rear seats do fold 60-40, allowing access through a smallish pass-through. But for the V-Coupe's price, these gooseneck hinges shouldn't be here. 
That base MSRP comes to $62,990. With options, our car came to within striking distance of 70 grand. So the CTS V Coupe is a bit more than a BMW M3, but a lot less than an M6. But some critics will cry, it's still not a BMW. True enough. Still, Cadillac has proven that it can hold its own in the same ultra-high performance circles. Indeed, we think the 2011 Cadillac CTS V Coupe is an outstanding, no-excuses driver's car that can stand up to all comers.